everyone, this is Jessica from JewelryTutorialHQ.com and Bespangled Jewelry. I have a fun video for you today. We're going to use nail polish to paint the back of vase filler beads and make our own cabochons. These are also known as glass gems and they, the ones you want are the ones with the flat back. They're going to come in all different shapes and sizes and they're really easy to find, very inexpensive. You can find them at uh, the craft store, in the home decor section, or even at the dollar store. The very first thing that we're going to do is paint a clear coat of nail polish onto the back, the flat part of the gem. That'll help the rest of the, the designs that we're going to do stick. And I want you to keep in mind that everything we're doing is basically the opposite order as it would be if you were painting your nails. Leave the clear coat to dry about five to eight minutes. And this is a piece of cling film. I'm just gonna crumple it up and get lots of crinkles in it and choose my color of nail polish and just dab it on there a little bit. And then we're going to stamp this onto the back of the cabochon. Now we're going to set this down and leave it to dry about eight to ten minutes. While that's drying, I'm going to show you a second technique that I like to use. This has already been painted with the clear coat, and I'm going to just dab on some nail polish with the brush. Just kind of blob it on. And then I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to scratch away some of that to make a little bit of texture and pattern. Just like that. It looks pretty neat. And then we're going to set this down to dry about eight to ten minutes. Now these are both dry. I'm going to do the same thing to both of these. We're going to um, paint our color over the pattern that we just made. Pick any color that you like. And I might recommend for certain colors use a second coat uh, just so that you don't have a transparent cabochon unless that's what you want. It kind of depends what you're going to put on the back of it. This particular color, I did, ended up doing two coats. Now we need to leave them to dry up to 30 minutes, then finish with a clear coat. And I recommend not working with them for at least 24 hours. I think they turned out pretty cool. This is the one I scratched with a toothpick. And this is the one that I did with the cling film. I'm going to show you some other ones that I've made. Uh, this one is the cling film technique with red painted behind. And this I I did two different colors using the cling film technique, so it's a little bit more transparent. This one also with the cling film, but I painted silver instead of the mint color. I hope you enjoyed this project. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And uh, be sure to check out the blog post that's linked in the video notes for ideas and ways to use these cool glass cabochons. See you next time.